Hi, this is Dave from Unplugged Woodworking. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a plane. So this is me number four. I've just just sharpened the the blade. So what do you do now? So this is what I'm going to show you. If you'd like to see um, future videos like this and future videos of me building furniture with hand tools, please subscribe. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment. Let us know what you want to see in future. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into this. Okay, so as I said, I've just sharpened the, the plain blade, so it is razor sharp now. So, first step would be to put the, the chip breaker on, and this is a chip breaker. Um, these are both um, Hawk um, chip breaker and blades I'd highly recommend you get so, something like this or, or equivalents um, you get you get less chatter with these um, uh, they tend to keep a sharper edge for longer I personally find so if you can I would recommend uh, to get something like this so when when you're putting these on there's there's a lot of you know there's a lot of different people I'll say You've got to get the the chip break as close to the edge as possible. Um, I tend to go for for somewhere in the region of maybe you no know, maybe about one to one point five millimeters. So the the back end of the screw I've I've only finger that's just finger tight. So this just kind of allows us to um, to wiggle the chip break around. Uh, you know again get in a position where I'm happy. So. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy there, so I'm gonna give it an extra tighten with my thumb. So kind of that's that's what I'm shooting for. I don't know if you can actually see that there, but that's that's roughly a millimeter. So once that's once that's in place and I'm happy with that, I will give this a tighten up with a screwdriver. And now. And now here comes putting it into the plane. So is what I like to do. This is just me me Lella strop. It's on a block of wood. So obviously I've just sharpened the I've just sharpened the plane blade. So I just turn this over and I rest the plane on. I sent I centralise the the lateral aim adjustment and Pull this back a little bit now this for, for those of you that don't know this little uh, knob here this is just to to pull the blade back or to push it forward so I have pulled it back and I am putting the the blade in now I did actually know someone that put the <laughs> put the blade in the wrong way so you know if you if you're new to this you know like bear this in mind so the blade this is the blade section that you that you should have just sharpened. This needs to be going down, facing down. And this is the chip breaker. This needs to be facing up towards yourself. So the person in question actually put it in like that, you know. And then I spoke to them, you know, the following day. Or it might have been a couple of days later. And see, I, I don't know what's wrong. I've sharpened it, and you know, things just don't seem to be cutting as well as it should be. I took one look, and obviously. I found out they put it in the wrong way so blade goes down so when you're putting the blade in try not to knock it about too much because obviously you've just sharpened it metal on metal will damage the edge of the the blade that you've just sharpened it's, it's not a good match metal on metal so i'm kind of just centralizing the feeling with my fingers and then i'm going to put the cap in on feels a little bit loose so this if it feels a little bit loose when you're putting it on there's a little screw here you can adjust yeah that feels good so I'm just gonna run run my thumb so this needs to be brought back a little bit so any any time that you bring the blade back you want to you want to tighten it again so this is just to take the slack the slack up if you can see that's just all slack. You know, it's free. So if I was to start playing with this now, the plane would be free 
the blade would be free to be pushed back and obviously that would alter my, my depth of cut so you won't always want to take the slack up so I kind of feel anything there so I'm going to advance it I'm feeling with me from the other side now I'm, I'm just starting to feel something on this side yeah so I know I know that the blade is sticking out more on this side than it is on this side because I can feel it I can just feel it here and I can't feel anything here so is what I want to do this is a side that's protruding a bit too much I want to push the lateral adjustments over to that side and now I kind of feel that at all I kind of feel anything so I'm going to just push it forward a little bit more I still kind of feel anything feeling a little bit more here so I'm going to push it over a little bit more and push it over some more and some more I'm starting to feel it over here now so I'm going to advance it a little bit more a bit more so that feels that feels pretty even so when you get to this point is what I like to do is actually try it out on a piece of wood So I'm going to put the I'm going to put put the plane on like this, but I'm not going to put it in the sand. I'm going to put it on one edge. And that's that's just showing what I'm taking off. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. So again, I'm not going all the way across, I'm just using this side. Now you see I'm barely taking nothing off, so I know I know I'm slightly higher on this side, so I'm going to push the lat the lateral adjustment over now they seem pretty consistent so that's what I've got from one end one side of the blade that's what I've got from the other side of the blade and I still think maybe this side is still a little bit set set too much so I've pushed over a little bit more so that's too much so I'm going to um, I'm going to adjust the blade a bit more forward advance it advance sorry still oh, that seems a lot better that seems pretty consistent now so that's from that's from one end 
mat from the other end so that does actually seem pretty consistent so I'm going to take one in the centre now so, so that does seem pretty consistent how you set up the plane or at least that's how I set a plane up. Uh, this is going to be good for any any style of plane like this, a number, a number three, a number four, a number five, six and so on. Um, if you like what you've uh, seen don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button, um, subscribe if you want to see uh, future videos like this and obviously me making um, furniture. I'd really appreciate that uh, subscribe and thanks for watching.